Separate uh, up there on 290 out here by Houston. Why didn't they do that in that case? That show you that this is manufactured and set up to spread, man. Yeah, but. You got the. You can legally do it. Nobody can say nothing. That show you they don't give a damn about you people, man. Yeah, I think that Ebola is not going to affect you. No, it's going to get worse, man. Because they're going to keep hyping it up until y'all idiots start begging for a cure, begging for a vaccine. I don't want to get sick. They starting with low deaths right now. Watch when that vaccine come, man. Lord willing, it come hard, too. Come. Yep. We not scared, man. I want Ebola to break out, man. Right. Don't forget about the new one with the, the, what's the one for the kids, the intro virus? Yeah. The intro virus. Yeah. They had one death with that. Right. Um, hey, that's executive order 13295. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come. I couldn't remember it. I wrote it now. down in my notes. Go the ahead, one with Bush. Oh, this is uh, right. Originally, that was the one that Bush came out with, and then right. that was the one that uh, uh, Obama revised and turned into. Uh, I can't remember. It's an, uh, I can't remember the actual uh, title of the bill, but that was the original one that Bush had, had set up when he was in office, and now uh, Obama then opened it back up and and then spread the premises up for it. So now if you just suspected of any type of. So all you could do is have a common cold. And they could just say, oh, you might have Ebola. Yeah. Snatch you up, man. Hey, and due to them chemtrails in the air, most people got to wake up with yep. gunk all in your nasal yep. passage and, you yep. know. And they, uh, they, 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 they huh? Yeah, what was the reason? Say it again. The, the number? executive order the executive number. Order. Say, uh, what was it again? 13295. 13295, right? Yeah. yeah. That was the executive order that was uh, uh, commissioned under Bush. And yeah, but Obama had to open it up and then make it make sure, okay, it wasn't good enough. We need to cover some more ground dealing with this. And they specified, that's what made me look up that word in that brother that said uh, it's going to be subject to draconian law. In other words, uh, you go into that word, it means harsh or strict uh, uh, punishment, man. Mm. And the main thing is penalty by death. That's what he uh, emphasized going back to uh, it was a, uh, Athenian, Athenian back in ancient Greece named Draco. He was the one that came uh, introduced that man. Thus, Draconian law. Let's read that one more time, man. Okay. Because y'all got to understand, dealing with this Ebola, the scripture that says you're going to be one of all things. This devil put out, put this Ebola out here, put his hybrid or the actual one, whichever one he got out here. And what are y'all gonna do? Y'all gonna run to him for help. When the death toll start rising, when enough people get scared, y'all gonna be looking for a vaccine. They already threw one Edomite, uh, I think somewhere close to the East Coast. He's supposedly been cured. And they letting the releasing him to go back to his uh go back home to his family. So now that's gonna put in you people's mind that there's a cure for it. This guy been healed. So if anybody gets sick and you get scared enough, okay, I can go get this vaccine and get cured, man. Not knowing that this is only gonna hype in the outbreak. Yeah, I got a quick precept. All right. This is Isaiah 30 and one. Woe to the rebellious children, said the Lord. Israel. Yeah, right. That take counsel, but not of me. Yep. And that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit. Hey, oh. Uh, do y'all not know, I said it earlier, man, and not just me, brothers and always tell you, man, the Bible covers everything. Y'all not asking for the elders or uh, 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 elder men that, uh, to, to, uh, to pray for you to the Most High for healing, man. Y'all not looking to get into the herbs that the Most High left in to cure you. Y'all run down to the pharmacy, to the hospital. That's your first reaction, man. It's to run to the devil for help. Instead of realizing the most high that provided a way for me to heal or eliminate whatever illness I'm stricken by. But instead, y'all go get these drugs that's just going to uh, mask the illness. Mm -hmm. Cause other symptoms, if not kill you at the end, man. Go ahead, read that from the top. Con. Isaiah 30 and 1. Woe to the rebellious children, saith the Lord, that take counsel but not of me. And that cover with the covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin, that walk to go down into Egypt, 
and have not asked in my mouth. Yeah, man. And that walk is not talking about physically walking down to Egypt, man. Just That's just stroll. talking about going, yeah, <laughs> I was about to say it, taking a stroll. That's talking about just going by the ways of this place, man. Running uh, up, you could be sitting still and be walking in the ways of something. It's not talking about it in a physical sense, man. But y'all mentally are programmed to run to whatever resources that this devil is supplied to you, man. What's up, my brother from another mother? Right, right, right. <laughs> he actually wrong about that because we brothers from the same mother. Yeah, no, but he trying to right. be funny. Hey, and the scriptures say that they may add sin to sin. Now, when you go down to these clinics or these so-called doctors, physicians, what have you, to get these uh, shots and vaccinations and all that shit, you defiling the temple. Yep. So that's adding sin to sin. So the most high got it covered, man. You're not supposed to be getting all this fucking chemicals and shit shot up into your body. Right. You know, that that's not lawful. We're not supposed to defile the temple. So you adding sin to sin. Hey, hey man, I'm sorry. With, uh, Jake, man. Hey, bro, let me say this just to clear it up. You know, in case anybody missed it, Egypt is talking about America. Yeah, right? So walking in the ways of Egypt meaning basically you subscribing to the system That's right. set up here in America. Yep. Right. Like, you know, just an example of walking in the ways, they going into one 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 aspect of it, but for a woman to basically divorce her husband. Yeah, man. That's a way of Egypt. Yep. A woman not to divorce her husband. A woman is basically property of her husband given by her father. When a man takes a woman to wife, that woman is given by her father to this man as property, whether you like it or not. So a way of Egypt is for a woman to say, I want a divorce and to take that man to court. We got men out here who can testify. And then this system, Egypt, giving her what belonged to the man. That's right. Yeah. That's a way of Egypt. Yep. That's adding sin unto sin. Yeah, it's all kind of ways, yeah, you know, right. but just subscribing to the madness of America. That's walking in the ways of Egypt. All right. I just wanted to clear it up. Y'all hey, could go ahead. Go ahead. And according to the law of the scriptures, the man is supposed to walk away with everything, the don't right. get including that's the kids, man. man. Well, that's law, you know. That's the right. That's yep, right. right. That's hey, we, law, like Judge Dre said. Judge Dre said. <laughs> Hey, we brought out Revelations 11 and 8 about the great city being spiritually Egypt. Yep. So the white man is is spiritually the, the pharaohs of today. Yep. yep. The modern day pharaohs. Exactly. You know. And they got Obama set up as your pharaoh right now. Go ahead. Yeah, something to say? Yeah, you're right. Oh no, that's right. Go ahead. Cons. Isaiah 30 and 2, that walk to go down into Egypt and have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. Yep, mm -hmm. that's who y'all trust in. The so-called American government, man, and everything that, uh, under it, man. Y'all think that these hospitals, man, I don't understand how many times you can run to a hospital and still have trust in that place, man. Mm -hmm. They got South shitty Park. workers, huh? South Park. It says on the hospital in South Park, death pass or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure everybody did. Yeah, but that is, that I mean, is a death. You, you said like death pass? Or something yeah. similar to that. But everything you said is like right on the money. Like, I'm like, wow. Agree, 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 agree. So, I don't know. I just, this is what I'm saying. Hey, that's rare. That's rare. Well, hey. we're to come out and agree with, but that's truth. That's the thing about truth. It's only one truth, man. It's a whole bunch of bullshit, lies, and distortion out there, but it's one truth. You got to be in the right spirit to just say, you know what, fuck what I feel, that's, that's right. That's true. Right. But a lot of people, what, what the scriptures say, uh, they they don't want to come to the light, at least they, these be reproved. Yeah, yeah. they don't want to, yeah. Yep, that's right. Hey, if I can say something about that, that, that you go out going into the hospitals and the medicine and all that, that's really this this witch witchcraft. Yeah, it is. You going to these to the white man to get the white man's witch's brew. Yeah. Mixing up synthetic chemical or chemicals, mimicking the, the uh, 
so-called effects of natural herbs and, and whatnot. Yeah, right. That's what I was gonna go into, man, because the yeah. brothers can testify about it. When the elders put us up on the herbs and stuff and start putting the information out there for you to look into, letting you know that it's natural herbs that can cure and take care of anything, man. If the most I deem it to. Hey, but that's the only way it's going to uh, happen, man, when you deal with these herbs. If the most high, uh, uh, let it happen, man. Because you can take herbs and herbs and herbs, but if the most high ain't got you set, set to be healed, it ain't going to happen, man. That's true. But brothers can testify as far as you might right. go tell another Jake or somebody on the job, your family member, hey, man, I saw for that illness or whatever, hey, take this herb. And they'll look at you crazy, and I'm not fucking with that. I don't like garlic. Yeah, garlic. Just something that simple. That's right, bro. But what, what they gonna do? They gonna go pop a pill, and then... Right. But that's just like, in the ancient day, instead of going... I, they had it set up to where, in the cities, man, they had more knowledge on the herbs and healing like that naturally, man. That's like them saying, man, fuck that. I'm gonna go to this witch or this warlock and get them to whip me up a quick potion oh, real quick. Right. They had phys actual physicians that dealt with the herbs. And we we can even testify us brothers over here and other brothers that uh they do work, you know. Yeah, but you can't. dealing you can't. with them, they using the natural herb the herbs, they actually work, you know. And we, we use them, you know. Yep. Yeah. Right I don't we don't fuck with Esau's so called medicine. Medicine, yep. And another thing too with our people, they are, that's them having a lack of faith in the Lord, man. Yeah. That's what that's what it boiled really down to. Come. You know, uh, a motherfucker will catch a cold and the first thing you do, he got to run and get some pills or something. Or some night quill. Yeah, yeah night quill. Some You're a damn person. fool and it ain't going to do shit for you. Yeah. Hey, man. When you can just like, eat some garlic. Yeah, that, I'm that, thinking back when I used to drink that night quill, some Robitussin. Afterwards, I was the weirdest fucked up feeling I could ever have. You get man. high off of that shit. It alter your mind, man. You ain't supposed to be taking that bullshit. That's why Jake likes sipping that shit. Yeah. Because it fuck him, he get him fucked up. Yeah. Yeah. What you about to say out here? And also, man, you know, you, you got to know the name of the, the Most High and His Son, man, because you, you set up a prayer to the Lord, you know what I'm saying, hear that prayer, you know, you could be ill, you know what I'm saying, and the Lord will uh, get you through it, man. You know what I'm saying? That's why it's important to know the name, you know what I'm saying? But two-thirds of our people, they don't, they care less about it, man. They just run off like drones and, and get doped up out their mind and be even in worse shape than they was before. Yep. You know? Brother, yeah, I got a precept for you, brother. Uh, this is uh, Ecclesiasticus, chapter 38, starting at the first verse. Honor a physician with the honor due unto him for the uses which you may have of him, for the for the Most High had created him. You going to? Uh, I'm gonna read on. It say, for the Most High cometh healing, for of the Most High cometh healing and he shall receive honor of the king. So it's just what the, what the brother was saying, you can take these different herbs and stuff, but overall, healing comes from the Most High. But the Most High blesses certain men with knowledge of certain plants and herbs to put these mixtures together or know what these herbs do. Right. As actual men have, have recorded that they, they can talk to plants, they yeah. communicate with right. plants. And these plants, they know this plant will do this, or it's good for this. They can communicate with the plants. Right. It's men that have that, that skill, that comes from the Heavenly Father. Just yeah. like you got the dog whisperer. He can, he can communicate with dogs. However they do it, I don't know. I don't have that skill. But there's people out there that can do that. Yeah. And they, they, they know these different herbs and what the uh, North, uh, Northern American Indians used to do, which some of them had that skill, but they could they'd watch the animals. Yeah. and see what they would eat and take and then they would get, gain knowledge like that. Mm -hmm. But ultimately it comes from the Most High. Right. Yeah. And then when you're dealing with these herbs, man, you need to bless and pray over that herb, man. Right. right. In the name of Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, man. Right. right. Like the brother said, it go down to having faith in the Most High to heal you, man. Yep. And what he provided for you. Go ahead. You got a little more. Yeah. This is verse 3. Yeah, the skill of the, the physician shall lift up his head. And in the sight of great men, he shall be in admiration. The Lord had created medicines out of the earth. Out of the earth. That's the key right there. He had created medicines out of the earth. Not no manufactured witchcraft, man. Not some magical love potion to make you feel good. 
Chemicals, chemicals man. Yeah, kind. All right, verse 4. The Lord had created medicines out of the earth, and he that is wise would not abhor them. It says, was not the water made, made sweet with wood, that the virtue thereof might be known? And he had given men skill that he might be honored in his marvelous works. Hey, real quick, man, mention the wood, I mean the water. The most I provided the natural filtration system. That's why on brothers, we can, you, it's more expensive. We buy uh, the water with a high pH balance, man. That's more alkaline. Why? Because they've been filtered naturally from the most high, man. But then, uh, man, my little niece told me this. She told me that her science teacher told her that tap water today is the most purest water you can get. That's what they tell the kids, the kid, the kids now. When that shit is fucking horrible, man. I done construction. I didn't had plumbers pull out just uh, yeah on top of the fluoride on it, man. If you see the inside of these pipes with right. that water yeah. flow through, it's full of mildew and, and, and disgusting Slime, things, man. Rust. Yeah. Rust. Yeah. Rust no more. I ain't had plumbers, man, on the job site when we demoing out, uh, getting ready to, for a remodeling or whatever. They demo out them pipes. And he say, hey, man, come here real quick. He say, look in there. He say, if you ever drink out no water fountain. So ever drink no tap water. That's why you got to constantly clean the water fountain. It ain't because people going up there drinking out of it. Yeah. You get uh, water spots. You get uh, build up and all yeah. kind of shit. That shit be brown, around the, black. The green. All around yeah. the hole with the water, cause that's the shit that's coming out of there. That ain't just shit. Ain't just growing on that fungus and shit. Just yeah, growing. On metal. that shit is coming out of the pipe. Yep. And then when you look inside of the water tower itself, man, that thing is filthy. Yep. I heard I cats it. that work for Lucky, yep. bro. I, I cats that used to be in the little city where we from that work for the city say when they used to, they had to clean the inside of the water tower. Man, that shit.